Today on Exia Developer TV, I'm reviewing for you a web browser that's minimalistic in design, high on privacy, and weighs in at about 105 kilobytes. Let's dive in. The application is featured on the XDA portal site by Conan Truman. It's referencing an app developed by an XDA forum member named Tony. He also goes by Am I Naked? And the application, again, is very minimalistic in size. It's about 95 kilobytes or up to about 109 now with the latest update as of December 5th. It, it references the main features, crash restore, undo the closing uh, of a tab, one finger zoom, infinite tabs. It has uh, support for Flash if you have the Flash APK installed on Jelly Bean. Uh, let's go ahead and open up the thread on the uh, XDA forums. Again, it repeats the same thing, trust, speed, features, and it's free. There is no ads to support this application. Now, he gives you two links here. Uh, you can go directly to the Google Play Store and download it, or you can go to his site, and if you go there, you have the option of providing a donation link to support the development of this application. Also, a couple of screenshots. On the Google Play Store, again, it's been updated as of December 5th, version 1.0, uh, up, to, up to 109 kilobytes, is still uh, way smaller even than the HoloWeb browser that we, uh, we reviewed not that long ago, and that was a small browser. Let's go ahead and check it out on the device. Okay, so first thing we'll do is open up the uh, Google Play Store on the phone, look for Naked Browser by Feverish Development, go ahead and open it up. Again, the application is 109 kilobytes. The interface is very simple. If you're looking for a beautiful browser, this isn't the application to look, go for, but the simplicity of this and the fact that the, high, the better security and the low requirements for permissions makes it very, very uh, practical. We'll go ahead and try to open up, uh, for example, here we'll go with YouTube. So youtube.com, load it. Again, now we're loading the desktop site and look how quickly it loaded up. Now again, it does load Flash. So if you have Flash installed, you just need to tap the Flash content and then it'll load the Flash content for you. It just takes a second, I guess, on the top side. If you want to open up a second browser, you just go ahead and click plus and we'll look for, let's say, XTA. Google search for it, XTA development or developers. So you'll see it, it loads the page quite quickly actually. It loads it into zoomed out and you're able to scroll up and down and it doesn't activate the flash content right away but if you tap it again, it'll go ahead and do it for you. So again, very, very quickly. Um, last but not least, we'll go ahead and open up another site and that will be Yahoo. Again, loads very, very quickly, and with uh, if you want to load your Flash content, you just tap it, and then, sure enough, very nice, very quick, very easy, reflows very, very quickly. I actually intended to put this stopwatch right here to be able to show you guys how fast this browser is, but I don't think I need to do that because you can see how fast it is. Uh, but for the sake of this experiment, I'm just going to try to go to Yahoo. Okay, let's see. Now, you notice it's still stuck. It's still trying to load all the content on the right side. It's still loading. Now, this is Dolphin, one of the one of the foremost popular browsers on the market. Of course, it's not as popular as Firefox, so we'll try to load again. It's it's ridiculously long. This it's not even an experiment here. So, let's try going into Firefox. Again, we'll do the same thing. We'll go Yahoo. Now I have to say though, Yahoo does, uh, the, these, these browsers will try to fill in some of these options. So let's go to Yahoo. Okay, now in this comparison obviously Yahoo did load uh, pretty quickly. The content, you just have to do the same thing, tap and it'll activate the content. And then you're able to see flash content on your browser. The application works very nicely. I tried it and it works very good as far as comparing it to some of the other browsers on your phone. I would say um, it's a little bit faster than the stock browser as far as loading pages. As far as Dolphin and Firefox, I've seen it to actually outperform them quite well. The zooming in and zooming out, you have the option of doing a one touch zoom, two touch or two, uh, you know, uh, the two finger zoom with the plus and minus if you'd like. Uh, closing browser tabs is a little bit different, so you just swipe them up as opposed to clicking on X. But other than that, really at 105 kilobytes, you're, you're getting a lot of features that don't necessarily take a lot of space. 
I like the browser. I like the way it was implemented. Um, the privacy is a big, big feature in this application itself. It tells you exactly what it's asking for. And it's not trying to hide different things here and there. It's just to kind of get information. There's an article that was listed by the developer that I have also linked uh, at the bottom of the description. And it just talks as an example how the Dolphin browser tracks some of the information and you know collects that information. We use browsers on a daily basis, but I don't think a lot of us really know what the browsers track or what they do for us. Our main concern is speed and make sure that it loads our content. This is supported. Um, it was updated as of December 5th, so definitely being supported. It supports Flash if you, have to, uh, if you can download the APK uh, for the version of Android that you have. Um, other than that, please like and subscribe and hope you guys like this video and uh, I'll see you guys next week.